I'm going to show you how you can use gyro flow to stabilize your footage on your DJI Avata 2 and I'm also going to give you my best settings to use on gyro flow to make that footage look even better. Now before we do that there are some settings that we absolutely need to make sure are set correctly before we start recording otherwise we're not going to be able to use that footage in gyro flow and stabilize it in post-production. So we're going to pop into the goggles and we're going to have a look at what those settings are. So let's hop in and see what we need to do. So we need to push upwards on the joystick to bring up our camera menu and what we want to make sure is these two settings that are as follows. First of all our camera field of view must be on wide. The reason for this is because wide is the only field of view in which we can record gyro data. And then we go across here to EIS, which is electronic image stabilization. And we need to make sure this is switched off because when it's switched off, the drone will record that gyro data. And that's what we're going to need for gyro flow. If it's on rock steady, we're not going to have that data recorded. So now that those two things are going to be set, I'm going to take the drone up and show you exactly what that footage is going to look like before we stabilize it. So let's get it up in the air. Okay, so I'm flying around now and you'll be able to see this footage is not super smooth. Look, if I do a few snaps from left to right, you can see it's still a little bit jerky. If I do a, a roll or a flip or something, actually that was pretty locked in anyway. So yeah, we can see here it's not been smoothed out. We have the raw image straight into the camera. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this footage home and I'm going to put it into gyro flow. And then I'm going to talk you through what we need to do once we have our footage. Okay, so we've got gyro flow open now and we're just going to drag our footage into the software here and now we can see our stabilized result as we play it back. Now for the optimal stabilization, I recommend that you use anywhere between 0.1 and 0.3 for the smoothness as I find that this range gives the best results for FPV. And you should also set your zooming speed to 8 seconds because as standard the zooming speed is 4 seconds but I find that this causes too much rapid zooming in and out on the footage which doesn't look very good. Then you just want to make sure that your export settings match the original for the maximum video quality, then hit export, let it do its thing and then you have stabilized footage ready to go. So you can see here that gyro flow gives you more control with your stabilization but it's also limited because of the field of view options and it takes a little bit longer in post-production. So that's how you can use gyro flow in combination with your DJI Vata 2 if you want to take a bit more control over your image stabilization in post-production. So you now know how to set it up, how to record it and the best settings to use in gyro flow to get that perfect footage. If you've gained value from this video, consider becoming a member on Patreon as it's one of the best ways to support the work that I'm doing here. Now I'm also currently working on a cinematic FPV course. So if that's something that you would be interested in, then you can sign up to the waitlist down below to get notified on all the latest developments and information with this course. Now I've also started a weekly newsletter giving you the latest drone news, hot tips and discounts and you can find all of that linked in the video description down below and whilst you're down there hit that subscribe button for more videos like this. You should go and check out this video next. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next one. Bye bye.